financial resources financial resources financial resources please look up our world today as we know runs upon the strength of economy please lend me your attention this is very serious what I'm saying most people do not know how important financial resources are in comparison to all these other resources it is the lowest but as far as your actualizing destiny is concerned you need financial resources it will take money to pay for that house it will take money to build that church it will take money to pay your children's school fees please look up it will take money to eat daily even if it is men they will at the the instrument of transaction in our world is largely finance that means when God wants to show you mercy among the many provisions he makes available for you finance I wish I had time I would have shown you how I got all of these things by now you would have known that it was by studying the person Jesus I took a study on Jesus all the resources he had that granted him access to accomplishing his assignment and all these four came from that study the presence the power wisdom understanding knowledge men men to a point that it threatened the Pharisees the Sadducees are we together that the whole city follows him and then resources Jesus had tremendous access to resources tremendous access to resources one time Jesus was teaching and the tribute collectors came to embarrass him and they came and said you are a preacher of righteousness and you've not paid your tax we are here representing Caesar and um, you need to pay your tax now you thought Jesus would say I hope you know I came from heaven go and check the census whatever it is I am from above don't ever bother me with the issue of tax because tax is for people within a territory and yet Jesus said no 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 provided I am on earth now even though I came from above I am living here in the earth and I must subscribe to the earth the principles and the principle for peace upon the earth is to give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar even Jesus acknowledged that there are some things that belong to Caesar and that every time you are about your assignment Caesar will send tribute collectors to come and embarrass you there's nothing I know that embarrasses visions like the bankruptcy of finances you are anointed with a great vision to write a book to run a program but by the time you see the bills you shelve the vision doesn't matter what God told you only God knows the kinds of books today that would have empowered believers help believers bless believers today by the privilege of God's grace there are so many across the globe who are listening to these messages and are being blessed and transformed let me tell you it takes more than anointing there is a media system with cameras what tens and hundreds of millions that are able to provide this visual excellence that the globe gets blessed from I hope you know that resources refuse to be poor not as an issue of carnality oh I'm this and that no no for the sake of your destiny and God's program refuse I've made my choice in the name of Jesus I've made my choice God was there Satan was there I was there I made my choice no. that I will never beg to preach the gospel and I will never beg to eat while I'm preaching the gospel no I will not I don't believe that I will not be distracted by financial issues I will not major on minors and minor on majors but in all my getting I must verify that resources are also coming presence power wisdom men but I will check my bank account too and if I find out that something is wrong with it I will discuss with God what is wrong are we together 
there are many worries that are caused by lack of finances not demons you can wake up in the night the same time it takes to pray you are using to worry simply because the, they've given a PTA letter that if by tomorrow you don't pay the school fees of your children there are many people dying of high blood pressure today courtesy the absence of finances are we together there are many family troubles that can be resolved in a moment through the blessing of financial empowerment Jesus needed financial resources every one of us you need it if I ask you to submit just two prayer requests two special prayer requests and I ask you to be honest more than 90% of us here the first thing you write is finances every tenant knows where a house can be sold the limitation is finances are we together every pastor that seeks expansion has I presume enough vision to sponsor expansion it is largely finances when you give a godly visionary person resources then you will see the power of resources in driving visions by the privilege of God's grace he's granted us the grace to hold these conferences that we hold now we are preparing for sound of revival UK you imagine in your mind that you run three global conferences in one year without manipulation US not Nigeria not Africa and it doesn't matter how much your naira is dollar is dollar you pay in dollar um, Canadian dollar is Canadian dollar they won't pity you because you come from Nigeria if anything it will even work against you what is bringing you here if it's sinners you have them back home what, what are you looking for here and since you say you want it then there you go are we together especially with the kind of growing antagonism over the church the name of Jesus is very heavy it takes financial resources to lift it high it takes financial resources is someone hearing takes financial there are some of you now honestly if God empowers you now your parents will live longer than they are because some of them are sick now you can't even buy a supplement for them to just remain in health there are many parents now who say do you know what opportunity costs let me just be sick till I die focus on the children's school fees don't use their school fees to treat me simple sicknesses that can be dealt with medically but it's as simple as the resources you have in your hands we have the honor today to do so many things for the kingdom and I say this with every sense of, of humility still humbled by the things that we're able to do in partnership with the CSS group these things take money empowering over 200 people and then helping to fund some of the projects come on now if you are not visionary you don't need money hello if you don't love God and you are going nowhere, you don't need money. Give us these days not for lazy people. Give us this day our daily bread is not for visionless people. Jesus was training people who would be apostles, sent ones. The problem with the issue of finance in the body of Christ is number one, it's been taught from a carnal standpoint, largely fueling the flesh. Number two, the accurate principles that make for wealth have not been holistically taught so they a part of it may be giving and then they stop there or a part of it entrepreneurship and it leaves a spiritual advantage but in the presence of balance and modesty the subject of finance must be taught otherwise the body of Christ becomes a poor impoverished people and my Bible says the rich will rule over the poor and the borrower Will become slave to the lender if you are going nowhere you will not understand the implication but at a leadership level a governmental level and at a macro level of god's program you will see the the danger of financial incapacitation that leads to servitude there are many small-minded people who will not understand this if you are looking for money for tea bread and your small selfish life you don't need prosperity you don't need increase but when you are talking of God's program 
There are many people who die today that less than a million naira would have helped them with one surgery. Yes, God heals, but not everybody is at the same faith level. As far as it depends on me, I will continue to pray that God will trust me with the resources of the kingdom and I will keep promoting him. How much money can you eat with? This is my stomach, all of it as you are seeing. So you don't need more than how many bowls of food can you eat? But we are talking of God's program. That under your watch, one child, if you can send one child to school, you have promoted God's program. If you can take one prostitute off the street, somebody who is roaming around because the parents could not solve their school fees, and they are now initiated into terrorist groups because of 2,000, 1,000, you call that child off the street and say with 10,000, go to the school another school and you train that child money with vision some of you you are here and your mandate requires money a lot of it the mandate God has given you requires money what do you think setting up that NGO is you want to provide food you want to take young girls off the street it takes more than compassion my dear you will need resources a prostitute who has been collecting money from strangers all her life now you want to take her off the street and leave her dying she will go back hunger is the only reason why Israel goes to Egypt I've taught you this every time you see Israel in Egypt they shouldn't be in Egypt but when there is hunger even Jacob will send his sons go to Egypt I have heard Genesis 42 that there is food in Egypt it says go the eater and buy for us that we will eat and not die. For as long as I live, I will use my resources to promote the kingdom. I will use my resources to put a smile on someone's face. I'm not afraid to say it. I'm not ashamed to say it. If you come to me and I cannot help you, I won't hide it. I will say, let's pray. Money is not the only thing I can give you. Let's pray. If you don't believe in my prayer, leave my presence. Let's pray. If you come, let God choose what he will use me to give you. It's not always money. If God says I should give you anointing, I say kneel down. And I'll pray for you. You'll be surprised that it will bless you more than what you are looking for. So I'm saying this as a disclaimer so you don't go and harass people and say, you God bless you. Mm -mm, don't, don't behave like that. Don't be afraid of talking about finances. Be afraid of manipulation. Be afraid of carnality. Be afraid of the distracting effect of overflogging the issue of money. But as a tool for kingdom advance, if you don't talk about it and you don't deal with it, you will pay the price with your life. Today, by the privilege and the mercy of God, we are able to protect the integrity of the gospel on account of financial resources. It's not just a good heart. There is no reason why I should pass a basket round, my dear people, asking you to give me money or asking you to, I've told you this. If I am hungry and after service, there's no food on my table, I will pass that basket. Oh. <laughs> Especially after preaching like this and sweating. You are sitting, I'm standing. Pass the basket. And call it consultancy. <laughs> ah, goodness no. may that day not come in this place may that day not come there are certain registers that have been signed once the pen has been dropped down already it will not be lifted again do you know the joy to be able to call your loved ones, maybe your parents, maybe your siblings, and say, Mama, by God's grace, God has shown me mercy. I can send 20,000. You are in the village. You didn't go to school, but you gave birth to a child that knows God now. And if you know that your people are fine, it will help you to have focus. How many of you agree on that? Africa for you. That when you know it is not well at home, you cannot even have the, the freedom, the liberty. How many preachers cannot preach because their very children cannot go to school? The Holy Spirit is speaking, they are not hearing. 
and then someone now comes and says you know what this you're being broke there is a way we do ministry we do this and at first they'll say god forbid but because of the pain they'll say let's try this your thing again what did you say how do they do it and before you know it they get into things and it's easy for us to point hands at people but when you tell people what is wrong you show them how to do it right don't tell a lady don't be a prostitute show her how to live a life with dignity don't tell the guy don't do yahoo don't tell him don't drink he went into that yahoo because of his mother's health condition so as you rehabilitate him show him the kingdom's way of dignity and he will draw others using his testimony are we together the problem with the church is we like to point what is wrong always teach solution 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 not problems there's falsehood in church i agree what is the right way there's wickedness in church i agree what is the right way there's witchcraft i agree what is the right way don't just tell people what is wrong and program their minds onto failure it's important people know the way the way there is jesus the way god's modus operandi there is the way to prosper there is a way to take care of your children there is a way to do ministry with integrity there is a way to succeed in ministry without compromise don't just lash on what is wrong show what is right i respect people who teach solutions solutions haven't shown what is wrong recommend the path to glory with proof with proof recommend the path with proof if you tell me don't steal don't kill don't destroy don't prostitute recommend the path with proof that leads to honor this is why we don't just talk about it we set up programs that empower people and it will not stop in the name of jesus it will not stop no we're not afraid of that when it has to do with blessing people we'll pray for you spiritually but we'll come up with financial empowerment programs for as long as i'm alive it will continue it is our contribution we may not do everything but jesus says we are the light he says we are the salt are we together I'm able to do what I do today as a man of God because by the privilege of God's grace my parents my family they, they are happy I'm honored to see that they are happy it gives me the focus to do what God has called me to do if someone God forbid says my mother is sick or my father is sick and because of one million naira you think I'll travel anywhere to preach I will go around looking for the money and most likely I'll come to your house that's where you misuse the prophetic gift out of pressure. You force that prophetic gift to show you where money is. And you call the person. Do you respect me? Yes. All right. Uh, my mother is sick. What is God saying? Nothing. You are not hearing. What is God saying? You are not hearing. Okay, let me tell you what he's saying. I can shout like this because there's food in my kitchen by the grace of God when I'm done shouting I give God glory and I will sit down and eat I must make sure there's food on your own table too I've told you this for as long as you are under this grace you will hear the whole counsel of God I will never teach you to be a spiritually vibrant people at the expense of other aspects of your life if your parents are happy if your loved ones are happy if your children are happy they will ask you where were you taught this truth they will come by themselves publicity is at the instance of impact not sentiments impact not sentiments hallelujah when jesus said give us this day our daily bread please look up he was making you know from this teaching that there are resources many of them beyond the third dimensional realm and that there are laws that can draw to your space these resources and it is with these resources you will do business for the kingdom the resource of his presence the resource of his power 
the resource of wisdom understanding knowledge the resource of the gift of man stationed across strategic points of your destiny like ushers helping you to rise helping you to stay and then financial resources i have seen what money can do when it enters a good hand i've seen what money can do when it enters an evil hand i've seen what money can do when it enters a wicked hand i've seen what money can do when it enters an occultic hand i've seen what money can do i think i was telling them in kenya i've said it here that there are many sons of the born woman buying up many auditoriums in europe where we are using for several crusades and as soon as they buy it the first law is that crusades will not hold here again it's a deliberate plot from satan a deliberate plot from satan but when believers are empowered by the message of god we will be able to do much for the kingdom and we'll stand at the mountain top and shout his name and tell the nations jesus save and tell the nations jesus heals and tell the nations that jesus delivers and give us many people a chance to make this decision for jesus i made reference to these statistics that there are about 8.2 billion people on earth believers who love jesus listen 8.2 billion people on earth and we have a little above 2.6 billion professing christians the margin is still wide still wide he says, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached across all the earth as a witness. Those who went ahead of us, they've done their own part. They've joined the cloud of witnesses. Now the baton has been given to us. We must not fail. And we must study their lives for the things that were written aforetime. They were written for our learning so that we through patience and the comfort of scripture might find hope. We must use the same formula they used. How did Reinhard Bonke come to Africa? By the use of these resources. The presence, the power, the wisdom, understanding, the gift of man, and finances. Finances. Now that we hold global crusades, I have an idea of what that great patriarch would have been spending per crusade. It is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Go and browse Christ for all nations crusades. Go and browse Maurice Sorulo crusades. Go and browse T.L. Osborne's crusades in Kenya and India. I mean, these people pack stadiums with people. You think the government will come and fund you? No, sir. That's not the assignment. It takes high level resources. And there are people, whilst you are seated here, in the place of fasting and consecration, God has told you that there is a mandate. It's a financial mandate. Don't look at yourself as just a businessman. Look at yourself as a minister. It's not just about buying and selling. Buying and selling is to make you access the resources. There is a lot to be done for the kingdom. If you are not interested in Jesus, nor his program, you will not be interested in what I'm saying. Or if it's the business of Jesus we're able to travel around the world and do the things that we do how do you think you rush to one nation and you must be around and be present to do what you're doing it's resources so it's resources it's not just vision it's not just a good heart it is resources man of God in all you're getting trust God for grace I have done several teachings on finances I don't want to talk about it here go and listen to my messages the power to get wealth part one to three listen diligently seasons of abundance listen diligently true riches listen diligently the capital that buys money listen diligently here are ten reasons why people pray equal connection with the divine Prayer is a way to connect with a higher power, expressing devotion, reverence, and a desire for a relationship with God or the divine. 2. Seeking guidance. Many people pray to seek wisdom, clarity, and direction in their lives, asking for help in making decisions or understanding difficult situations. 3. Comfort and peace. Prayer can provide comfort during times of distress, offering a sense of peace and reassurance that one is not alone in their struggles. 4. Gratitude. 
Prayer is a way to express thankfulness for the blessings and good things in life, acknowledging the positive aspects of existence. 5. Intercession for others. People often pray for the well-being of others, asking for healing, protection, or blessings for family, friends, or even strangers. 6. Confession and forgiveness. Prayer provides an opportunity for self-reflection, allowing individuals to confess their wrongdoings and seek forgiveness, leading to spiritual cleansing and renewal. 7. Strength and endurance. Through prayer, individuals often seek the strength to endure difficult circumstances, asking for the resilience to face challenges. 8. Worship and Adoration Prayer is an act of worship, where individuals praise and adore the divine, celebrating the greatness and goodness of God. 9. Requesting Needs Many people pray to ask for specific needs, whether material, emotional or spiritual, believing that divine intervention can provide solutions or support. 10. Cultivating a habit of mindfulness. Regular prayer can foster mindfulness, helping individuals remain focused on their spiritual goals and maintain a sense of purpose and direction in life. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures, he leads me beside quiet waters, he refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Thank you for liking this message. Thank you for watching this message. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. We love you. We celebrate you. Please share our content with others. Share our content with your follow or your fellow, um, what do I want to say now? Share our content with your friend, with your family, with your loved ones. Share it with your enemies. Share our content anywhere. Believers Global TV to the whole world. Let's gather and preach the gospel of Christ through the power of media. See you in our next video. Don't forget to share the love of Christ with others. And share the love of Christ with your friends, with your family, with your enemies, with your loved ones, with anybody at all, anybody, human being at all, share the love of Christ with them. And as you do so, the Lord will bless you, the Lord will, the Lord will keep you, the Lord will make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. And uh, what do I want to say again? Follow us on all of our social media platforms, on Facebook at Believers Global TV, on uh, Instagram at Believers Global TV, on the TikTok at Believers Global TV, on YouTube at Believers Global TV. See you, see you, see you later. Bye.